Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 26 in chapter 22. Chapter 22 is Gauss's law. We can see we know the electric field density between two square metal plane is 160 newton per coulomb. We write it there. So this is the electric field density between them, right? And then it tells us the Plants are one meter on a side, so side length is L. We write it as one meter, and the distance between these two plants is three centimeter. We write it there, and then we need to find the charge on each plant. So there you can consider the quantity given is E E electric field. Ask you the charge. So it looks like we need to consider Gaussian's law, right? So Gaussian's law tell us. We can draw a Gaussian surface look like this one. Agree? So the electric field E times the surface A equal to enclosed enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. Agree? Yes. Now next one. Uh, we need to find this Q, right? So now we can consider the plants are to be infinite in size because the L is uh, much much larger than D, so we don't consider we can ignore the inch effect. So look, consider this is a perfect, a uh, plan. So now we can see we replace the enclosed charge as the ch surface charge density times A. Agree? Therefore, we can get the E equal to phi divided by epsilon naught. This is very nerd in pressure problems. Now you can see if we want to find the charge Q for the whole plane, for the one plane, that is use the charge density times A, right? Charge times the surface for these plants. Now the surface for these plants is just L times D, right? So in this case, we input the E and the A inside. We can get answers there. Thank you.